Thank you for the introduction, and I can start immediately. Um, in this project, we uh, used um, adult female. Uh, <laughs> we used dummies representing adult female sea lice. They were made of brown leather and uh, were 11 to 12 millimeter in length, 26 to 27 uh, millimeter, including white egg strings made of uh, sewing thread. Uh, dummies uh, were used uh, to ensure biosecurity and keeping size and color um, constant. Uh, in order to record uh, Ballenrest's behavior, we made a camera rig. The camera rig consisted uh, of a salmon that died recently, uh, 10 sea lice dummies, five on each side of the salmon, attached to fixed positions, uh, a camera uh, placed above, facing downwards, and a metal ring in the end, working as a um, reference distance for uh, balance rest that approached the salmon. Uh, sampling took place in commercial sea cages, uh, stocked with farm balance rest only. Uh, four camera rigs were placed within each sea cage, close to the uh, cage wall. Uh, where high densities of balance rest could be observed. Um, each recording lasted for uh, approximately one hour, and three behavior categories were noted. These were inspection, bite on sea lice dummies, and bite on salmon. Um, yeah, here is a video. Um, we analyzed approximately 74 hours of video, and here are some examples of uh, balance rest biting on um, sea lice dummies. So um, here you can see the balance rest, and it's interesting to see how it swims, uh, approach the salmon, orient itself, and then bite on the lice, which you can't see in the video actually, but. <laughs> In this video, it's uh, a bit dark, but uh, yeah. Um, yeah, here's another example. Uh, lice is there, and you can see, yeah. You can see the lights there, and Balanres is actively using its fins position itself before it the bite. So a clear bite on the lice. Um, interestingly, we also saw that um, balanres were biting on salmon even when lice were uh, available. So um, this uh, balanres is uh, biting on the body surface of the salmon, and um, we know for sure there is no uh, sea lice dummies in that location. So, some uh, results. Um, <coughs> what uh, the balance rest, they quickly showed interest for the model. And what this figure shows is that um, is the time from the uh, model was uh, the salmon were placed uh, out in the sea cage until we got the first observation of behavior traits like inspection, bite on lice and bite on salmon. And we see that most of the observations occur within the first 30 minutes. Um, another interesting result was that uh, only or about 8% of the more than 900 inspections resulted into a bite on sea lice dummy, and 12% resulted in uh, a bite on salmon. So 80% of the inspections they uh, just stopped there. So, in summary, the model works. Balan rest were inspecting the salmon and were biting on sea lice dummies. Uh, this model can be used to identify lice characteristics which influence steel losing behavior. It can be used to test environmental factors, uh, how they uh, influence the, the balan rest. And we can do comparisons between balan rest uh, and uh, lumpfish. Yeah, different species of press. That's what I add. Thank you. <laughs>